Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I wanted to share my latest uh, doily mini album with you. And um, I think I might have started this on one of my lives, or, or on uh, maybe Laurel's live. Um, not sure, because I had been working on it for a little while. But anyways, I finally finished it, and here it is. And uh, it started off with using 5-inch uh, doilies. So it's a little smaller uh, than um, the ones I had been making when I was making the 7-inch uh, the doilies. And I used the seam binding um, gather technique to uh, put it together. And I used this beautiful lavender ribbon. And then I added this bling piece here to the side. And um, this is the image I chose for the cover, and I think it's just beautiful. And um, I won't go into the detail of putting together the, the doilies because you've probably seen that like dozens of times. But I'll give you the highlights. This first page, um, I tried to take some of the colors out of the photo and or image and uh, I just went around it with some of the flowers that I make um, on my some of my live videos from the uh, from the trims and appliques that I have you know cutting them up and then um, mixing and matching and putting them together um, this is an applique here a flowerly flower re <laughs> I can't even talk um, applique and I just added to it little these little flowers I love making these and these are uh, from a trim from craft supplies for you actually as well as this larger flower and these little flowers here and I added little tiny pearls um, this is a separate trim from my stash these little um, flowers that I put in the middle I added some rhinestone buttons to these flowers. And then as you can see, I have uh, a lot of layers. This was, I think this was the last of this piece I have and I forget who sent it to me, but I just love it and I love the color. It's like a dark champagne color. And then this trim here is from uh, ks for You. And let's see, so that's the, um, first page and of course the dangles and I think all the dangles might be chaos for you I'll know as I go along and then this first page here is the pocket page and here's the pocket I made out of a doily and this is a piece of an applique and I another piece here and then I added a f little flower that I made in the middle and then this is an applique flower under a um this was a piece of material and I just cut the flower out of it. And this is a, um, a doily. And then here are the dangles on this side. They're all chaos for you except for this one on the top that I had de-dyed. And then here's the next image and I want to bring out the pink and the green. And so I, I think throughout you're going to see the flowers the little flowers I make out of the appliques and trims. This is a, an app, a leaf applique that I had cut up to fit the image. And then this trim here is from my stash. This one I added li my little clay flowers and bling button. And then here's some more dangles down the bottom. These are all KS for you. Then the next two pages I brought out the pinks and the lavender. Um, and also this has some gray in it and I had these little gray flowers that someone sent me and I was finally able to use some of them. And then this trim here is from uh, Sophie. Hi Sophie! And I added the little clay flowers and this little underneath the clay flower is uh, another, it's another little trim and I just cut out the little pieces individually. And then here's another flower I made from an applique and a trim with the um, rhinestone button. Here's some more dangles. Um, 
this dangle here is from my stash but um, let's see the rest of them are tea dyed from KS for you and I just thought this image was so pretty and um, I think that's I think that's all I did for this page and uh, each page has at least two doilies on each side besides the ones that I made, used for the actual pages and then I love this image and I've seen this image in several different colors and um, these images were from uh, some of the entries in my image challenge that I had a while back and this is in pink I've also seen it I think in green and yellow and it's just beautiful and so to this one um, because of her large hat I added a large applique flower um, a dangle piece from a, another applique trim um, this here is another piece I think it belongs with this I just cut the trims the or the appliques to fit and then this is from my stash this little pink flower here and I added a pearl to that and then my clay flowers on these little um, pieces of uh, this was a trim that I cut the little flowers out of and there's some more there's that other piece that I used the rest of it in this book and then this is a tea dyed piece and those the dangle ones except for the champagne one is all from craft supplies for you and then here's the flower page and I did not make this flower but I just loved it someone had sent it to me and so I wanted to use it on the flower page and I just used a simple um, flower applique uh, piece here and added just some little details to it with the clay flowers and the little pieces from the trims that I use and then uh, the rest is from chaos for you and then the last image and page is this one and I love this image too and she had more peachy pink tones so I used uh, peach this her hair is almost gold like the gold color I used this gold flower applique I got this um, I think it was on eBay and I got a yard of it and um, when I got it I didn't realize how metallic -y it was and I didn't think geez I'll, am I ever going to use that but it I just like how it looks on this page and these are leaves I cut out from a trim and the flowers and then these little um, pearl and rhinestone buttons and my clay flowers so that's that page and then the back page all I did was I added an extra doily and this um, wedding applique with the um, sequins and the pearls with the dangles and that's all I and the dangles underneath that's all I did to this page because more than likely um, whoever receives it is going to you know probably have it either flat on a surface or even if they put it on a stand you're really not going to see it so I didn't want to put too much on the back I wanted to keep it rather flat so that's it that's my um, doily mini if you'd like leave me a comment let me know what you think um, every mini I do I I do try to make different and um, so it doesn't get boring for me or for whoever's watching uh, and for the person that it it uh, ends up going to so um, please leave me a comment and I will be back again soon hopefully with another project share bye for now